2670 Jefferson Avenue. This house was the first home that, uh, the first historic home that my wife and I uh, took on. And uh, we did all the work ourselves, or at least most of it. And uh, this is the worst house that I have ever worked on. Um, you look here, you see urine stains in the carpet. Uh, this house had been neglected. The electrical was bad. The plumbing was bad. The roof was bad. The bathroom was bad. Um, there really was no redeeming uh, quality to this home other than that uh, it had some nice exterior architecture and, um, you know, had solid brick walls. So we went to town and uh, started to get to work. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of history here, but uh, the kitchen was bad. You see that bucket there? There was a, a pipe. The kitchen sink drained into the bucket. The previous owner had, uh, or a renter had been there, and he would leave dogs in the home for three weeks at a time. And we'd go on a trip, and he'd open a big 100-pound bag of dog food in the kitchen while the dogs stayed in the house while he was gone. And so you can imagine what the odor was like. Um, the neighborhood was up and coming. This was on the historic district on Jefferson Avenue. There's my wife with a book on <laughs> teaching your kids to clean their room. Uh, there I am tearing off the roof. Uh, we began work. We started demolition. On day three, uh, we had the roof off, uh, and that's when disaster struck. Uh, out of nowhere, we had this microburst, and uh, a thunderstorm came and dumped about an inch and a half of water in our attic. Um, we thought we'd ruined our house. <laughs> we, you can see here, we had a lot of water, and it just came right through directly into the home. And we were very concerned about the plaster and uh, the walls. We thought we were going to have to replace everything, and that was not in our budget. But we came back the next day, and uh, lo and behold, all the wallpaper that we were going to try to scrape off, the ceiling had, uh, had fallen off. And uh, so that made work a lot easier for us. There was a lot of odors uh, that were trapped in that wallpaper, uh, and it was good to, uh, to get that out. So it was a mixed... Uh, a mixed bag for us with that experience. We learned a lot, though. Um, the water was turned off to the property when we purchased it, and we had it turned on, and the water heater you see there, uh, the spigot was missing, and so the cellar filled up with water. Um, we tore out the bathroom. The floor joists were bad, so we replaced those. There I am with a box of cat litter soaking up the water in the cellar. Um, the uh, a lot, a lot of work, a lot of work. We really uh, went to town. We had family and some friends help us. Uh, that was my sister-in-law painting. Uh, the finished product turned out really well. Uh, we turned the place from being a, turned it into a, a real small palace for us. Uh, we moved into it shortly after finishing it off and uh, were there for about nine months. Uh, it was a one and a half bedroom house as well. Uh, it had a bedroom that was, uh, you know, seven feet by six feet. <laughs> Not really a bedroom, but it was small. And uh, so we ended up uh, selling the home and moving on down the street. Uh, but we really did a good job, I think, and we uh, brought back a lot, of the, a lot of the historic character to the home. And there's your finished product right there. Uh, thanks so much.